Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Today's topic is men that you should avoid. Let's talk about the men that you should absolutely avoid. Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now let's dive right into this topic. Men you should avoid. All right. You know, I get letters all the time of ladies uh, want to know how to find a man. <laughs> but I thought it would be helpful for you to know men to avoid, ladies, because really you should be in the driver's seat, not in the passenger seat. I want you to be so confident in yourself that you choose the man for you. Not that he chooses you and you're waiting around to be chosen. You see, that's, that's a whole different mindset than if you are in control of your own destiny. Okay? All right. Men to avoid. Stay away from men who are married. <laughs> that ought to be obvious, but it's not. It's not too many of you women are accepting the advances of married men. Now, now I know some of these men will approach you and you don't know they're married until you get involved with them and then the secret is out. And that's why I say take your time with people and especially don't jump into bed with them as soon as you meet them because you don't know where they're coming from. You understand? So, if a man tells you that he's married, because some men, they'll tell you, I'm married, but we can talk about it. You understand? That just means they're cheaters. You want to avoid them. Now, avoid a man who just broke up, who just got out of a relationship, any kind of relationship, whether it's that uh, he was engaged or he was uh, married or whether he just broke up with his girlfriend. People need time after a breakup. You don't want to date a man who just broke up a relationship. Whether, you know, no matter whose fault it was, that's irrelevant. But you don't want that man because he has to heal from whatever happened in the relationship and this is whether he had a girlfriend a fiance or a wife if he was in a relationship soon before he met you he just broke up you don't want him he needs at least a year before he uh, engages in a new relationship so uh, you meet a man find out you know when was his last relationship if it was like he just broke up two weeks ago. Now, what they'll tell you, they'll say, uh, oh, you know, it was a couple of months and it was yesterday. So <laughs> you, you watch out because I've had men to lie when it comes to something like that. But no, if they just broke up, you don't want it. You don't want a man who's still in a relationship that tells you that um, it's not working out and he's on his way out of the relationship avoid him <laughs> avoid him no he's lying and he'll only drag you down into that drama no no he's he's not a good one for you you'll find these men who are actually living with someone they're living and just taking advantage of that someone but they want to date you sometimes you'll know it and sometimes you won't but you need to be very careful when dealing with these people that could be living with someone. I uh, met this guy once, and he always wanted to come to my house. But I never got his house. And then when I started asking questions, come to find out that he was living with somebody. You understand, ladies, how you can get 
trick if you don't ask questions ahead of time and take it slow and don't have sex with them. Don't have sex. You can find out a lot more about these people with your legs closed. Okay? All right. You don't want a man uh, who's wimpy, weak, you know, uh, too emotional, needy. You don't want a man like that. If you meet a man and uh, he comes to you in a needy kind of way, you know, uh, you know, I, I <laughs> at one time I, I would meet men that are doing these projects or whatever, but they need help. Avoid those people. If they need help, let them <laughs> find help someplace else. Any kind of help. Avoid a man if he doesn't have a place to stay. You know, you ladies, you some of you are just too giving and you'll see a guy and he seems like a nice guy. And you say, well, you can stay with me a few days and did he end up staying there <laughs> longer than expected or whatever. Number one, you don't want to invite people into your life like that. That's number one. But avoid men who are needy. Avoid them. Avoid men who don't have a job. If he doesn't have a job, he can't afford you. Period. Ladies, remember. Remember the prize that you are. If he, <laughs> he can't afford you. So allow him to come back once he gets his finances established. But don't take him any kind of way. Don't settle for that. Don't settle at all. Don't date men who are going through a divorce. That can be the worst drama ever. No. If a man is going through a divorce, let him go through it, you know, and clear all of that out and be alone for at least a year before approaching you. Now, if he's serious about you, then he will comply to that. He will comply to that. He will, you know, be a distant friend for a year, but keep his eye on you until that time passes because he has to have time to get over his marriage and what happened in it and all of that. Be leery of a man who latches on to you and he's going through a divorce. It's quite possible he could be a narcissist. And he's discarding the supply he's with and looking for a new supply. Plus, he's, he wouldn't discard the old supply until he already had another main supply. But remember, narcissists are always recruiting supply, whether they have a main supply or not. Always. So these are men who would try to rush you to marriage. Avoid them. Avoid them. Okay? And the narcissist rushes you to marriage because he needs the main supply. See, his main supply is never forever. The main supply is going to get discarded. He's going to need another main supply. And the main supplies for these narcissists are you upstanding, self-sufficient women. You be very careful. Because, see, a number of you have spent your earlier years building your foundation. You have a good job, a good income. You have your own car your own place and everything. And here comes the devil. <laughs> the demon. He come. He come. Looking for you. Looking for you. And he may approach you uh, uh, in different ways because one way that uh, many women like this get sucked up is through the church. Because uh, they will settle for a man in the church who just is mediocre just because you feel like, you know, he's, you and him have a meeting of the minds in the religion. So you will settle for him. I think that's a mistake. I really do. Because 
when it boils down to it, if this man cannot provide for you, he's not going to be looking so good to you after a while. I don't care religion or not. Okay? So, no, if he is not uh, financially stable and has what you have or better, avoid him. Avoid men who are going through these custody battles. And these go for younger men too. Very young men. Baby mama drama. Girl, ladies, don't get tangled up with that. Don't, don't get tangled up with that. Mm-mm. You would not like it. So avoid men who, who have those custody battles. If you hear baby mama, you go the other way. Don't get involved. Avoid men who don't take accountability. Now, narcissists definitely don't. Everything the narcissist will blame on you or somebody else. Even if you saw him do something. He will never admit it. Never admit his wrongs, period. So if you have a man or, or with a man who does not take up accountability for anything that he does, you don't want to be around him at all because he won't be responsible. You want a man who, who will provide and be responsible for you and if he has a family for his family. If he doesn't take accountability, you can't, you can't uh, trust anybody like that. Now, I want to say something about this. Uh, men, men still living at home. All right. You know, I, I did hear some folks say to avoid these men. Men who still live at home. Let me tell you something about that. In today's world, I, I really don't see a problem with it. I don't look at him like he's a mama's boy or that he can't take care of himself or that he's irresponsible. To tell you the truth, in this economy, if he is fortunate enough and he, he's not married, he doesn't have any kids or anything, if he's fortunate enough to have parents that would allow him to stay at home, I, I, I don't see a problem. I, I really don't. I don't see him as being wimpy or nerdy or whatever. I, I see him pretty darn lucky. That, that's just my opinion, ladies. You understand? That, that's just my opinion. Now, my boys... I, I would have loved for them to stay home. You know? They could have come back with their wives if they wanted to. I, I would have loved them to have a family around. But they decided to leave. When they got a certain age or whatever, you know. One just decided to leave. One went off to the military. They, they just did their thing. You see? But if they had decided to stay home right, until... They got married and then they moved out and bought their own homes and family and stuff like that. You understand? Know That's different. But no, I don't. I don't um, see where there's uh, a real problem if the man is is still at home. I really don't. I uh, know a young man who married and his marriage didn't work out well. So he went back home. Wasn't nobody at home but his mother. So he went on back home with his mother and he cared for his mother until she passed. I don't see a problem with that. At all. Why would a woman avoid him because he he, he went back home? Okay, I guess it, it's a choice. You know, you, you have a choice on that one. But I, I personally... Don't see a problem with a man just because he lives at home. Now, you may go to his living situation and see some stuff that 
that you don't agree with or whatever, and you might want to avoid him because of that, or maybe some other things about the man that's not quite right. But uh, if there are some strong, upstanding, good men who are at home living with their mothers, taking care of their mothers. There's no man there. They take care of their mothers. I don't see a problem with it, ladies. Okay. Avoid men who want you to go 50-50. Avoid 50-50 men. Any man who tells you, let's do something together. We can put our money together. You pay this and you pay you pay half. And, now, you go to dinner or something with these men, and then they say, your portion is going to be so on. So he looks at the bill and tells you how much you got to pay on the bill. You let that be the last time that he has your company. Avoid those men. They don't want to provide for you. You are worth more than that. And you deserve better. Men, you should avoid. Well, I went through I went through a whole list here. And uh, the last thing that I see on here is men who flat out tell you. And let me tell you this. They'll tell you they're not ready for a relationship. Now, ladies, when do you usually hear that? After you've had sex with him. He's not going to say that to you before sex. He's going to make you think whatever you want to think before sex. But after sex and after you're thinking, okay, we're going to be together. You know, we, gonna, we got something going. Then he's going to tell you, look, listen, I'm not ready. Do, ladies, do you know what just happened there? He only wanted you for sex. But in your mind, you think in relationship. He was never thinking that. No matter what he told you, he wasn't thinking that. He only wanted sex. And if you stick around with him, that's all he's ever going to want from you. Sex. It's not in his mind about a relationship, ladies. These men, avoid them. They don't mean you any good at all. And you can't change a man if he's not ready for a relationship. There's nothing that you're going to do to change his mind, ladies. And don't try to do anything to change his mind at all. Move on. Love yourself. Know yourself. And cherish who you are. But avoid these men. And that'll save you a lot of uh, stress anxiety, and heartbreak. If you just avoid them in the beginning, don't even give them a chance to go forth. When you see these red flags, and they're red flags, take heed, ladies. I hope you understand the message today. And I really hope that it helps someone. Know these signs of men to avoid because these are men who will use and abuse you. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And if you are looking for your affirmation for today, the link is also in the description. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you for those who leave a donation. It really helps the channel to grow. I wish you all the very best and happiness. And I really hope to see you next time.